With its heavy-handed moralising and saccharine scenes of domestic life, it's easy to see why Victorian painting gets a bad press. Few people come out in public and admit to being fans, and the ones who do include Andrew Lloyd Webber and Jeremy Paxman, hardly the hippest ambassadors for this already unfashionable genre. But, as the cliché goes, there's more to Victorian painting than meets the eye. The Victorian age was decidedly interdisciplinary, an age where art and literature went hand in hand. The 1830s and 1840s saw a vogue for literary paintings, whose themes were taken from English literature, especially from the previous century. Paintings depicting scenes from Stern, Goldsmith and Pepys were particularly popular and were often exhibited with lengthy quotations. These found a ready audience in the newly rich novel-reading middle class and taught the Victorian public not only to equate painting with literature, but also that a painting was often something which could be read like a novel. In this series, I'm going to take you on a whistle-stop tour through some of my favourite paintings, decoding their rich symbolism and basking in their often ridiculous didacticism.